Let's take a look at Property Pal's exciting new features in version 1.3. We've added more default addresses under settings. Select default email addresses. Up to five emails can be added in each section, which includes property managers, maintenance, painters, and cleaners. When you've entered all of the default email addresses, select done and then save and continue. You'll see these addresses at the end of the inspection after you select finish report and generate report. You'll see a new option in the bottom left corner labeled other reports. All items that were marked during the inspection as needing special attention from your subcontractors are broken down into different reports. Maintenance, cleaning, and painting reports can all be generated, and your default email addresses that correspond with each subcontractor automatically appear when you choose to email the reports. All notes and pictures associated with that item will be included with each report as well. Select Report Generation in the upper left corner to return to the other reports. This feature allows you to easily send out reports to all of your turnover staff or subcontractors to give specific duties. 1.3 allows you to create and save your own property pal template. This can be used to create a particular type of property as well as customize a template for exterior property walks. Complete a move-in inspection as you normally would, you'll see our default template, a three-bedroom, three-bath property. To add or delete rooms, select Edit in the upper left corner. This also allows you to rename the room. To add another room, select Add in lower left corner. Item lines can also be deleted in edit mode. Simply swipe from left to right on the item you'd like to delete and select the red button. When you're done editing the template, select Done and Done. To save the template, select Edit in the upper left, then Save and Load Template in the lower left. Name the template and select Save. If you're using Property Pal on the new iPad or an iPhone 4GS, congrats! You not only have a great device, but the ability to take speaking notes. So if you need to take a long note on a specific item during the inspection, instead of typing it out, simply select the microphone image on the keyboard and say your note. Speak into the microphone. Issued items have been added to the bottom of the standard inspection form. Now you can specify the number of items given to residents, like keys, as well as keep a record of assigned items like mailbox keys and parking spaces. It's easy to add more issued items. Just select Edit in the upper right corner, select New Item under Issued Items, and now we can add garage door openers, for example. Taking photos with your walkthrough inspections just got easier with the rapid camera feature. To take multiple photos in one shot, select Add Photos, take a photo, and then snap away. An interesting note, if you do use the new iPad, the camera button has shifted to the right side to actually make the picture taking easier. Select Done when you've taken enough, then you can review, delete, or save the photos. Go back to the item when you're done. Forwarding addresses can be added to move outs to simplify the return of security deposits. On the address page, you'll see Add Forwarding Address in the bottom left. Again, this is only available on the move out inspection. Add the resident's name and new address and select Save.